are watching Faith World TV. Faith World TV, changing the world with the Word of God. Jesus Christ is Lord. This is Charity Weston on the Hour of Liberty with Christian Women Liberty Center. Last week we discussed whether or not it is mandatory, if it is compulsory for a Christian, be they male or female, uh, to be married. And uh, looking at the scriptures, no, it won't. It won't compulsory. And we were wondering why Africans are purporting he purporting that if a woman is not married she is not holy she is not doing the will of god it's not god has not willed for every person to be married there are people who will not fulfill their divine destinies if they ma get married and there are people that would that are called into marriage but marriage is not mandatory it's not how you value a woman whether or not she married very many women in Africa, their destinies are snuffed off anywhere in marriage. I am just watching the media, you know, the social media. I have youth, my children. They're into this, and I, I say, nosy Parker, I, I park in, and, and I see what's going on. And uh, what is trending in Nigeria now is actually the, the media stars in Nigeria, largely ladies, uh, 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 being trashed by by the husbands there's so much domestic violence against the woman that they, they've been major ones of them coming out of media one was beaten hit so several times with ironing iron itself iron that you used to iron your clothes and there's another one that popped out with so many children and there was another hitting you know and these women are just trying to make excuses for this evil that is going on they're trying to make excuse this one couldn't find a word to say she was chewing her mouth and i thought that is buddha dash you're destroying the children you can't keep once a man starts hitting a woman forget it forget it there is no therapy for it no therapy unless if he gets born again and then allows jesus to deal with his person but the trouble is the most of them that are born again pride goes before their faith so forget that jesus can deal with that because he's bigger than jesus jesus christ is lord today what we're dealing with is should black men stand on women to grow taller because that's actually what's going on at the minute i'm not i'm not talking I'm, that is right from the pulpit down to the pew to outside yeah if it gets better in the church it will immediately get better outside it's what the church is doing that is affecting outside yeah let's just we will read from the bible how does god see woman how does he see woman in marriage did he did jesus christ suffer all that he suffered was beaten whiplashed nailed to the cross and a crown of thorns rammed in his head he bled suffered suffered they pierced him and, and water and blood flew out he then was dead by suffocation by the way because his organs caved in and then he was brought down buried he went to the regions of dark the regions of darkness for the 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 the, the prince of darkness he that had the power of death you know fought him took the keys of hell and death from him and resurrected and set mankind free did jesus after doing that turn around and sold the woman into slavery in the hands of men did he do that did he and what did he mean by i am come that they might have life and have it more abundantly is the woman still living at the corner of genesis chapter 3 verse 16. these are what black christians should ask themselves because this is what is failing africa woefully because you you decided that your women are are, are inferior to you so the rest of the world are treating you as inferior and you come out to be shouting Sevora, you will not get it until you treat your women as equals to you then the rest of the world will treat you equal let's go to the book of uh to the book of uh peter chapter uh, uh first peter chapter 3 verse 7 it's i'm reading from new living translation first it says Verse 7 it says, In the same way, you husbands must give honor to your wife. Did you hear the language? Must. Must. I've never heard a 
any time. I grew, I was born in church, grew up in church, grew up in church. I've never heard any time when there was a sermon of how to honor the woman. No, I'm not, not, not in an Africa. Well, I'm an African. I was born in an African non-believing church. Yeah, I gave my life to Jesus and left that place and went to believing churches that in inverted commas, believe the Bible believe that Jesus is Lord, believe the Holy Spirit, believe that there's God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit, believe in the, all the works of grace. I got born again and, and, and received my Christian experiences and remained there. Never once have I heard any teaching about husband honoring his wife. No, every day, the national anthem in Christian churches is Colossians chapter 3 verse 18 wives submit yourselves to your own husbands that apparently in christian churches that solves every problem and when the man is a thief wives submit yourselves to your husband he said no fine he doesn't do anything the woman is the one suffering and 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 feeding him and the children and he's beating her wives submit yourself to your own husband she's getting her own clothes getting his own clothes paying the children's school fees wives for submit yourself to your own husband the bible said that it, it is the laborer that is worthy of his hire the bible said he who does not walk let him not eat apparently when it comes to women the game changes when it comes to uh, uh, men being lazy the game changes and nobody wants to no i've never had any time when anyone took pulpit and chastising men of what they're doing wrong in christian never never what sires where now can't do that they sat next to god in fact god is begging them for a seat yeah let's read it says the same way you husbands must give honor to your wives treat your wives with understanding that means you need to study your wife that's what it means you need to study your wife it's not this you know the black girl is packaged to go to live the life of her husband but look at what the bible says here you know that's what he says now and she now goes to learn the way that her husband lives even if he's living wrong <laughs> even if he's living wrong listen it says um uh, treat your wives your wife with understanding as you as you live together she may be weak weaker than you but she is your equal partner in god's gift of new life did you hear the word equal partner yeah and 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 he says treat her as you should so your prayers be not hindered now now can you see what is happening to africa their prayers are being hindered I will skip this one. Let's just look at it again in comp uh, in uh, good news. Good news says it says in the same way you husbands must must live with your wives with the proper understanding. You need to understand the wife, yeah, to 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 build her up. That's what it means. Uh, that they are um, proper understanding that they are weaker than you. Treat them with respect. Mm who said that treat the woman with respect as respect no it's the man that must be respected a husband is master they can do anything but you just respect them yeah that's what happens okay in africa though and look how well they're doing look how good africa is doing it says treat them with respect because they also will receive together with you god's gift of life do this so that nothing will interfere with your prayers. Yeah? Yeah, let's go again. Complete Jewish Bible. It says, You husbands likewise conduct your married lives with understanding. No, but what? No, they're coming and dictate. They want this, want that, want that. Do that, do this, do that, do that. Hello. They're being told to do things with understanding. Apparently, some quite a good number of them are dumped. You know everything is the woman that does it they just show up for the marriage the less rest is, is up to the woman if he fails it's her fault if if he if he if he does well, oh look how well that man is doing see you're paying for it the world doesn't count you for anything they're going to try the coronavirus vaccine on you black africans yeah he says you is because of what you're doing to your women the way you're handling your women that's the way the world is handling you 
You husbands, likewise, conduct your married lives with understanding. Although your wife may be weaker physically. This is complete Jewish Bible. I love them. Don't you love this one? It says, uh, physically, that's where it stops. In the physical, not in the spirit realm. Yeah, not in the spirit realm. In the spirit realm, they're sons of God. Okay, it says, you should respect her as a fellow heir of the gift of life. If you don't, your prayers will be blocked. Did you see that? Complete Jewish Bible. Now you know what is happening to Africa. More Africans pray than Europeans pray. Where you have about 500,000 uh, Africans praying, you probably will have about, maybe, maybe, a thousand Europeans praying and the European prayers will be answered before the 500,000 in Africa because you, you don't know, you don't have Christianity what you have is your pagan tradition that you took inside the church and looking for pages in the Bible to hide it and that's what you're preaching I mean you have your mega preacher come out to say that women should practice how to listen to their husbands who are these husbands immoral Pagans, pagan, even though they're inside church, they're pagans inside church. Can you, you know, if you, this is the, the, the game changer for Af Africa. Turn the beam light on your women and you see what God will, see, will do. That will be the game changer. Try it. And look at the media is full of your violence against your women. And after that, you take your placard, black lives matter. No, black men's life matter. Maybe we should make a placard like that. Because that's actually what you're saying. If you're killing the women behind, their lives don't matter. It's yours, black men. Your lives don't matter. So let's make black men. Black men's lives matter. Never mind the woman. We kill them, we eat them, we sacrifice them, do whatever Satan says to do. Yeah. So that they matter. And you can't even do without your women. You're nobody without your women. Have you ever seen any, any child raised by an African man single-handedly? It will be a goat living. Yeah, amongst human. Jesus Christ is Lord. And I'm going to another scripture. Romans. The book of Romans. The book of Romans. Chapter 15. Verse 1. It says, We then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities. This is your classic King James or to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves have you seen any african man found on this corridor never the national anthem inside the church is man is head to respect for man you know to wit that they come inside church they're respecting another person's wife to bow to them another person's daughter to bow to them another person's mother mother to bow to them what is wrong with african men do you know what is wrong with them because they're actually the problem in africa all that is going wrong in africa is the african men no one else all that they're fighting for look you know this thing called sex was made to be a past time thing but it, it constitutes the major part of the african man's life it constitutes the bulk of his life. That's why he's trying so hard to keep the woman under so he can get it on order. Yeah? Whenever he demands it, he, he, he eats food and then the next is that and uh, his life is done. Hey, look how well you're living. Look how well Africa is. Uh, when sex is number one thing catered for in your life, is is there is you're now you're, you're 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 really living life, aren't you? The African man. You need to let your women go free from the house of bondage. Otherwise, you're never going to be free. As long as your women are your slaves, you will remain slaves to the other parts of the world. Yeah? Did you say, see that? Yeah? We then that are strong ought to bear the, the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. We will go once more uh, to Philippians, the book of Philippians. Philippians chapter 2. If we take it from three, it says, Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory. And me, African men are full of vainglory. When you see them puffing up, and it, you can see the smoke coming out of their ears. And they're watching, looking for who will bow down to say, 
if you don't answer them, sir, you're in trouble. And do they mean, know the meaning of sir? Your gaze is as good as mine. What is sir? What does it mean? It says, let nothing be done through, ve through strive or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Uh, is this written for women or uh, are African men, are they included? Now and again, I have attended Caucasian churches. These are not what, they, these don't take their time. <laughs> They have better things to do, like making everyone better. No, but in African churches, you make men better. And after making them, and I mean, if you're looking for a definition of selfishness, just take a look at a man. That's what it means, selfishness. Because for them, they are me and myself and I. And me and my, even after they said they have given their lives to Jesus, I, God knows who they gave their lives to. Maybe they gave their lives to themselves. Because I've been, I've been watching them, they still, me and myself and I, inside the church, they're rallying around to cover whatever a man has done wrong so that we can blame his wife. If, a man, if an African man fails, it's his mother's fault. And if we finish blaming his mother, it's then his wife. If his wife is not, it's his sister. If it's his sister, no, his aunt, they're never wrong. Never. An African man wrong. They're sat next to God. They tell God what to do. Yeah. An African man actually told me. Because I challenged him about this manifold respect, respect, respect for man that takes the pulpit every day. Takes the pulpit. One came out to say that every woman's need is the same, uh, but character is different. I said, Lele, wake up. And I'm looking at him. I said, look at his belly. Pot belly. Lazy. Lazy pig. Pot belly. That's why he's talking like that. If he does any, or he's honestly he sit down and mops at the Bible, not reading it, mops at it, and then come to collect tithes and offering and go to eat whatever that needs to be. If you look at his belly, is when I'm. In fact, one of my babies weighed five kg when he was born at birth. Five kg. My belly wasn't that big. My belly was not as big as his. I said, lazy, lazy, lazy. That's why he will be doing that to bow women to slavery. And you want to be free you want equal right you want civil right you're not gonna get it you need to set your women free from the house of bondage before you get any rights at all yeah we read him wait let, let's read again okay I, I need to read that to five four says look 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 not every man on his own things but every man also on the things of others let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus which I have never in my mind seen an African man that has the mind of Christ. What is the mind of Christ? Selflessness. That's the mind of Christ. And I have never seen any African man that does not present himself for praise and worship once he sees a woman. No, the, the, the balance, waiting. You need to come to greet sire. That's what is killing Africa. That's what is killing Africa. Eh? But, but then you go in the midst of Caucasians, they, they will go and say good morning to the children. Humble yourself under the mighty hands of God so that he will exalt you in due time. Eh? Because you don't know the language of humbling. That's why you know the language of failure. Africans, African men, because you do not know the language of humble, humility. That's why you, are, you will know plenty of the language of failure. Even in the midst of how many churches... In your in your streets on your roads in your villages in the midst of it in the midst of it in, in the midst of it what is in your head is sex in the morning afternoon evening night and you eat food and you go to bed tell me what you are all the struggle that an African African men are struggling what is it for do you what do you know to have sex that's all nothing else they don't uh, scat other than that nothing everything they're suffering look at how they go out. They, if, what else do they do? They think they beat the women up. The media is full of, is full of media, African media star ladies being beaten up by their, by their husbands unashamedly. And those women come out to defend evil so that their children can be destroyed. The one was chewing her mouth on Instagram. I said, look at this. Look at this. Like, what is she talking? Your husband is a violent man. In front of your children, he's beating you up. What have you got to say about that? Say in one sentence ten times over. Next, please. Get off of my... Just remove your self from before me. Let's look at 
at Matthew, Matthew chapter 23, Matthew 23, Matthew 23, and we see verse 8, it says, but be not ye called rabbi, but that's what we must call men, African men, for one is your master. Now, mega preacher said that the meaning of husband is master. This is the words of Jesus in red. It's not one of the apostles, the high priest himself. He who bought me by his own blood. Hmm? He who loved me and gave his own life for me. This, these are his words in red. He says, but be not ye called rabbi. But this mega preacher, Nigerian mega preacher, is still the same one that said women should practice listening to their husbands. And how about him practicing listening? Listening. Eh? What the gospel has now become government planted 5G overnight. Is that what Jesus sent us to preach? Yeah. Remove yourself from before me. You know, you know what I mean? Shut your face. Okay? He says, but be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. It doesn't matter whether they be women or men, brethren. You read in the Bible wrong, brethren. Because when we go to heaven, there be no trousers, there be no skates. Anywhere the Jews, the, the Jews in the time of, where, where, did you see Jesus wearing trousers? A gown. Gown. That's what, no, that long thing, gown, is a gown. The, you see, the Arabs still wear it today. Yeah? And call no man father upon the earth, our father in the Lord. <laughs> On the, uh, upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters. But we have a preacher telling Nigerian men that they should be, be, be called masters. Yeah? And he calls himself a Christian. He says he's supposed to be a Christian. Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. But he that is great, greatest among you shall be your servant. Can we get some service coming from African men, Nigerian men? The ones on the pulpit, let's get service coming out of you. That's, that's what the master said. Serve, serve. Yeah, just serve. Jesus is Lord. <clears throat> Jesus Christ is Lord. If we go to read from the book of uh, uh, James, chapter 4, verse 10. James 4, 10. Mm. Verse 10 says, Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up and he shall lift you up now do you know now, now do you now know why africans are not lifted up the continent the countries are not lifting lifted up lifted up it's because african men are too proud they self satan inside church and they say that jesus is the one they're serving no they're not they're serving themselves when a man serves himself he is serving satan yeah because he is in charge of the flesh that's what he wants he wants you to derail and pay attention to this flesh so that what the Bible is saying is turned upside down and mixed together and diluted and given to the people like that. Master, husband, I read for you the door of, of heaven is still open for you. Jesus is pleading and calling. Escape the danger. African men, why will you die? Why are you being destroyed and your continent is destroyed and you don't care as long as you're respected? A man that is in the grave doesn't know what a dead person doesn't know what respect is because he's dead jesus is lord and i'm reading from the book of first peter chapter 5 verse 6 he says therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of god that he may exalt you in in the proper time so you have not humbled yourself under the mighty hand of god that's why africa is not exalted Book of Matthew, chapter uh, 23, verse 12, it says, Whosoever exalts himself shall be humbled, and whoever humbles himself shall be exalted. So we're talking about humility coming from African men. From the churches first, from the churches. Let's just have the churches preaching what men are doing wrong 
so that the men will have opportunity to change. Not every day come to teach what women should do. Get the young girls to do this. Get the women to do that. We get the men, women to do this. Let them teach women this. Why don't we start teaching men what they do? Because they have failed us woefully. African men, they have failed us woefully. Yeah? Yeah? And, and, and let, let's look at the book of Proverbs. Proverbs says, Proverbs 22 verse 4 says, the reward of humility and the fear of the Lord are riches, honor, and life. Now, have you not seen why Africa don't have that? They don't have riches, they don't have honor. Africa doesn't mean anything to the world. They, they just exploit them. They want to kill you with corona vaccine so they can come and take your land. Yeah? That's what it is. But the way, how do we escape it? Humbleness coming from men. Beginning from the pulpit and then down to the pew beginning from the pulpit then down to unless the pulpit saves it no one is real that's where jesus deposited the power but you're preaching nonsense you're preaching yourself you're preaching the same thing as the witch doctor in his coven is preaching the same thing as the a man in his mosque is preaching that's what you're preaching what makes you better nothing you're not better jesus christ is lord and all we're saying is let's have humility uh, coming from African men and respecting their women so that the Lord Jehovah will bless Africa in due time. And this is Charity Eberson on the Hour of Liberty explaining that African men don't need to stand on women to grow taller. Jesus is Lord. We will see you again next week. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. It is children's bread to grow. Yeah, if you want to grow. You are watching Faith World TV. Faith World TV. Changing the world with the Word of God.